Hello friends, welcome back to a new video. Today I will be reading to you Snow White Sees the Light. In this classical fairy tale, we told with a twist, Snow White has, has had enough. So this is not the book you have read. This is not like the, the original Snow White. This is Snow White with a twist. Snow White Sees the Light. So let's get into this book. Snow White Sees the Light. Snow White put down her broom and sighed. Every day, the seven dwarfs left, left muddy boots in the kitchen, and in the kitchen, and dropped their jackets on the floor. They never took off their hats. They only wanted to be fed. What's cooking? I'm starving. Hurry up! When they sat on the, at the table, the drawers had terrible manners. Burp, slurp, chomp. And they never ever cleared the table or helped to wash the dishes. One day, Snow White lost her temper. You, All you want is a housekeeper, she cried. You don't care about me. The drawers stared at her in amazement. But we adore you, one said. You are the loveliest in the land, cried another. We'd be lost without you, said the third. Ha, said Snow White. But she put, she, but she went to put a pie in the oven anyway. Far away, a wise queen lived in a castle. She believed that everyone in her kingdom should share the cooking and the cleaning. That way, everyone would be happy. One day, the queen picked up her magic mirror. Mirror, mirror in my hand. Does someone need me in my land? Huh, that's yeah. It's funny because in the other book, it would be there would be a cruel uh, queen, and this time she's asking, "Mirror, mirror in my hand. Does someone need me in my land?" So yeah. Snow White needs you, replied the mirror right away. The seven dwarfs are treating her like a slave. The queen visited Snow White. Why, why do you let the dwarfs get away with it, she asked. They said they'd be lost without me, re replied Snow White. We'll see about that, said the queen. She cut a piece of, she cut a piece of magical magic apple. Pretend you've been poisoned and see what the dwarfs say when they find you. That evening, the seven dwarfs marched in the door, kicked off their boots, and shouted for their supper. W then they saw Snow White lying on the floor with the apple beside her. Oh no, cried the dwarfs. That apple is poisoned. Snow White is dead. They all burst into tears. Who is going to cook our food? Who is going to clean our house? Who is going to wash our clothes? Snow White got up from the floor and gave the, uh, the seven dwarfs a long, hard stare. Wash your own clothes, she said. I'm leaving. And guess what? Snow White found a nice, considerate prince and lived happily ever after. And that's him. He's cleaning all the dishes. Uh, okay, so this is puzzle one. Put these pictures in the correct order. Which event do you think is the most important? Not try try writing the story in your own words. Um, while you're solving it, uh, um, please solve it. I'll be giving you a moment to figure it out. I hope you figure it out. I'll be moving on to the second puzzle. So, choose the correct speech bubbles for the character. Can you think of any others? Turn the, the page to find the answers for both pages. So, I'll give you a moment to think about it. Okay, I hope you figured it out. So, for the answers. Uh, answer, answers. Puzzle 1. The correct order is 1F, 2D, 3E, 4A, 5C, and 6B. Puzzle 2. Snow White, 2, 3, and 2. Uh, Snow White is 2 and 3. The Queen is 1 and 4. And the 7 dwarfs are 5 and 6. If you, uh, if you had gotten something wrong for Puzzle 1, I'll give you a moment to fix it. 
if you had gotten something wrong in puzzle two, I'll give you uh, a moment to fix your answers. Okay. So guys, this is the end of the book. I hope you enjoyed. If you did, please like, share, and subscribe. And I'll see you next time. Goodbye.